Okay, today let's have a little chat about the mower, and we'll go fast because it is an omni drink, and it has so many, many purposes. Now, what you need to remember, right, is the mower stands for molecular repair essentials. The body is repairing itself every, even down to the millisecond of the day, and there's certain essentials that it has to have. In order to keep it in repair, when it doesn't have, then it's going to give you signs. And what are the signs? The signs are things like uh, uh, colds, flu, uh, cancer, uh, oh, uh, etc., etc. Also, now the primary component, one of the primary components of the mower, of course, is buffered mineral ascorbate. Now, the body is held together. It's got a, it's got an extensive uh, matrix. All right, that's what holds the whole body together. That's the glue. And the matrix requires just copious amounts of ascorbate for its repair. And when you're talking about that, maybe you're talking about uh, ligaments, tendons, the iris and the cornea of the eye, the skin. All right, there are about three uh, primary components of the skin. That would be the oils held together, of course, by the collagen, which is dependent on the ascorbate. Right, and then the vitamin D is so essential as it reacts with the cholesterol. Cholesterol is just absolutely imperative that we keep the cholesterol levels up in the skin. Okay, all right, so the two or three things that we want to mention today are the cardiovascular disease. First of all, remember that the underlying cause of all heart disease or of all, uh, you know, strokes and this sort of thing Right, is what the scientists call hypoascorbemia. Now that means it doesn't have enough ascorbate. And then the, the inner linings of the arteries, called the basement level, subcutaneous level, right, they become watery. And they start leaking and then the body starts reacting to plug up the leaks with something called lipoprotein A. And then you come along with the fibrin and it forms a little web, and there are just millions of these little cracks that have to be repaired. So the first thing in any protocol, right, to reverse cardiovascular disease, you've got to give the body back enough of the ascorbates to, to kind of let the body heal, right, those, all those little cracks and that wateriness. Okay, now, in addition to that, when we're talking about these ascorbates, let's talk about the immune system. That's the easiest way to talk about the immune system. Let's talk about cancer. Remember, you hear so often that the body has anywhere has cancer anywhere from six to ten times during its lifetime. But when the body's immune system is not compromised, then what is it? It destroys the cancer. Remember, remember, cancer can be cured. Anybody ever tells you that's either a fool or a liar? It cannot be cured. All right, the three things that you can do with it. cut it out. You can poison it. Or, or you can encapsulate it so it can't spread. Now, if we're talking about destroying the cancer cells, that means the body has enough of these uh, immunity factors, and they are led by the ascorbate again. When I'm talking about ascorbate, I'm talking about what used to be called, it's a metabolite, it used to be called vitamin C. All right, that was wrong. Now, in the best way, the most efficient way for these ascorbates is the same way in which the Creator made them in our body, and that's with the, uh, the buffering of the minerals. Now, of course, right, that's what is used in the more because that's the most natural way for it to function. Now, when these, there's, uh, uh, the body's immune system is functioning efficiently, right, it is creating... And remember, every cell in the human body contains hydrogen peroxide. And every cell in the human body contains a, a catalase also. Now, when the immune system is working, right, and it's got plenty of the ascorbate and other things like zinc, it's imperative right, that it have vitamin D3, calcium, uh, uh, it's called a calciferol, excuse me. Okay. Now, that's the trigger to make the whole thing work. Now, with the abundance of these, the body creates hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Now, with the catalase in the body, but nothing happens, even with the ascorbate, without, it just kind of lays there until you have the vitamin D3, and the most effective form of that comes from an animal protein, animal source, 
right, which is the lanolin of sheep's wool that's in your moor. The ascorbates are in the moor. But anyway, okay, so it forms the H2O2. Now the catalase all right, breaks it down into H2O, which is harmless water, and a singlet oxygen molecule. Now that singlet oxygen molecule is what the body's warriors use to destroy pathogens. A, uh, a cold virus, a flu virus, a cancer cell kills them on contact. Now as soon as it does, that warrior cell, that could be a lymphocyte or a, uh, uh, et cetera, T cells, all of these sorts of things, all right, it morphs, it changes, it becomes a little garbage man. And it engulfs that dead pathogen. And it's got little tentacles on the inside of it, it just rips it to pieces. All right, then it carries it back to the liver. All right, and the liver is where that garbage man is rehabilitated. It's used uh, proteolytic enzymes. All right, and they clean the little fellow up right, and send him back out as a warrior cell again. Now that's kind of way. Now as long as the body's immune system, all right, is not compromised, all right, then that's the way it destroys all pathogens. So you have to make sure that you keep plenty of these ascorbates that we're talking about, all right, in the moor, and the of course the colocalciferol, which is a vitamin D3, in the moor. Right now, let's go to the next. All right, uh, let's remember. Right, that the fuel right, that we put into the body, right, we call it food. Right, well, what happens when we cook food? All food is equipped with its own digestive enzymes. And when we would cook it over about oh, 120 degrees in that area, give or take a few points there, right, it destroys those enzymes. Right, and then in the three steps of the digestive process, one of them is eliminated, and then the body has to go back Right, and take additional digestive enzymes from the pancreas right, in order to try to digest the food. Right, so consequently, the food never gets completely digested and any undigested food is a toxin. And that undigested food does what? It gets clumped up in, the, in that goo on the inside of the arteries that we talked about, uh, that uh, watery stuff, uh, triglycerides, right, all that... Uh, uh, accumulate and make the plaque. Okay, so in any kind of what we talk about is health. Now, when we're talking about health, what do we want from health? We want to learn to live younger, longer, and do it easier. So what we have to do is we have to pay attention, all right, to the fuel. So we have to give the body these little basic digestive enzymes, and that's why. I you know, you got to take them with each meal or every time you're going to eat something that has been cooked. All right? Of course, that's the reason for the, the lipase and the protease, protease and the amylase that are, in, that are composed, are, are composts, are functions, factors, all right, in the more. Okay, now, let's see. All right, let's talk about, when we're talking about diseases spreading, an easy one to talk about is, uh, is uh, let's say, herpes, right, or uh, shingles, okay, because what causes are then some of the cold sores, right, they're all caused by a virus that has been in our body since we were young. It's called the, the chickenpox virus. So what happens with this, let me give you a little mnemonic here so you can easily remember it. Okay, let's assume that this is a cell. Right now, when you have a virus that enters a, enters a cell, now this is like this uh, 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 herpes, this uh, uh, chicken box, this herpes virus. All right, the cell, all right, the walls will open up, and then the cell itself. And so you'll notice as we drop this golf ball in this water here that the water, all right, it opens up and then closes up around this golf ball, which represents a pathogen. All right, a toxin. All right, now, that thing can also, it can go in or out, and it can pass through to the cells next to it to infect them. So, if the body is supplied with something that will keep that 
herpes virus in there, then we don't have the shingles outbreaks. Or we can get rid of them in a real big hurry by just giving the body more of that particular substance, which is L-lysine. And then you got the L-proline. Now, that's one of the ways that it'll also, the body can also encapsulate cancer cells and keep them from spreading. Same thing as shingles or herpes. Okay. All right. All of this, all of these, uh, these factors are included, are combined in the more. You'll also notice when we talk about the diabetes, diabetes is a competition. When the, when the body was created, it converted sugar, glucose, all right, into ascorbate. Well, somehow a, some, something happened a million years ago and that, that little enzyme disappeared from the body. So one of the few animals on earth, there are only four that don't produce their own ascorbate. Right? And as a result of that, is that competition right, has always existed between the glucose right, and the ascorbate from entry into the cell. And then the body has to deal with all of that additional glucose. We'll talk about the, uh, have another uh, topic, all right, with diabetes and how that works. Okay, but remember, all right, that that's, uh, that's one of the things that addresses, I think the study was at uh, Stanford University, all right, and they found that uh, one gram of ascorbate reduced the need for two and a half units of insulin, so they just kept giving more and more, all right, of the components of more, and they didn't need the insulin anymore. But well, that's another topic. We'll get on that later. What else do we need to, to be concerned about here today? Uh, they, uh, it also contains, this formula also contains vitamin B6. Vitamin D, B6 is so essential to about a hundred things going on in the human body. Uh, to give you something that you'll relate to, uh, this vitamin B6 all right, has uh, in, in extensive tests over years, decades, all right, eliminates 90% uh, of the, uh, with the patients, the uh, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. It reduces the incidence of Parkinson's by 50%. All right, uh, another thing that is in the, uh, in the more, all right, is the uh, EGCG catechins from green tea, and they're so instrumental in uh, the body's regulating and normalizing the body's blood sugar, right? also um, uh, ca helping cause uh, apoptosis with cancer cells, where the cancer cells destroy themselves. Uh, and uh, next, a very, uh, a very important uh, component of the more is something called silica. Now, for your information, right? the body when you give the body additional cancers, it gets. Uh, uh, to, you know, and try to think you're doing something to help the bones after you reach your maturity, and which is in your early 20s. The <laughs> body just doesn't work that way. All right, it does not use the magnesium is more important than even the calcium, but the most important thing is silica, right? Because the silica, then the body will use that to remineralize bones. But also important is, you know, uh, Alzheimer's, a great deal of uh, uh, emphasis is put on how aluminum from things like cans and, and antacids and vaccinations right, is, uh, is a culprit in Alzheimer's. Right, but the silica then will combine right, with that aluminum, uh, called aluminum silicate, and makes it innocuous. It's harmless and it'll eventually carry it on out of the body. So that's one of the things that's it's very uh, extremely important. Very little known facts. Okay, I think uh, we've already gone over our time with this. Okay, so let's close this segment down now. And the things that we've talked about here, we'll make about 20 more, only a little bit shorter segments in three minutes. Okay, thank you for your attention. Until later.